Hey everyone, in this video we take a look at everything there is to know about the new Packed Anywhere collection. We have the 5 litre sling, the 25 litre duffel, the 50 litre backpack duffel hybrid and the 120 litre gear hauler. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry so if you like what you see please consider subscribing and also hitting that little bell. Let's dive in and check out the new Packed Anywhere collection. If you're not familiar with Pact, Pact is a US carry company that is known for making considered carry goods. They released the Pact Travel Backpack, which was designed in collaboration with Chase Reeves. We've actually done a video on that bag, so if you're interested in that, you can check out the link above right now. And they also have the Pact One Duffel, which at the time of its release was a really unique approach to the duffel bag. Now they have this collection, the Anywhere Collection. The four pieces in the Anywhere Collection have been built to work together for a fully organized trip, but each of them individually have been meticulously designed to work on their own as well. As a whole, the collection has been designed with a mobile travel lifestyle in mind, with trips that require different modes of transportation and even stays that range from days, weeks, and even months. In this video, we're gonna take a look at each of these bags and their different use cases. And if you wanna check out the product page of this collection, you can click the link in the description below or just scan the QR code on the screen right now. Also, if you wanna keep up to date with new releases happening in the carry world, we have a Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter that you can subscribe to, where we talk about those news, any new releases in carry, and where we also give away some gear to our lucky subscribers so if you want to get in on that be sure to be subscribed to the channel and also to the newsletter okay so starting off with the five liter anywhere sling the materials of all the bags in this collection are made of a 900 denier durable and water resistant r pet material they also feature ykk zippers and durable duraflex hardware as for branding much like all of the bags from packed it's not very prominent it's just a small little brand tab here on the top here, you can see the packed logo on this orange brand patch. Depending on which colorways you have, you might have different colored brand patches. On the front face of the bag, there are these two differently sized loops here. This just allows you to attach or lash any gear on the bag externally. So if you have a carabiner or a hero clip, you can lash that on and then attach gear on the bag. You'll also notice that there are a few grab handles on the sides of the bag, two on the wider side and then one on the shorter side here. This just makes it easy for slinging the bag around on your body being able to grab almost any side of the bag with a grab handle. But the two hole handles on the wider sides here actually allow the sling to piggyback on the 25 litre small overnight duffel or the 50 litre duffel backpack hybrid or even the packed one duffel. And we'll take a look at the implementation later on in the video. Turning around to the back of the sling bag, we have a quilted padded back panel here which will allow for a comfortable carry when you're carrying the sling and then you can see that the carry strap is actually stowed away right now so here we have a pretty simple nylon carry strap here and we've got a duraflex clip here that can clip onto either of these loops at the bottom here depending on which side you prefer to sling the bag around you can install it whichever way you like we have a simple duraflex ladder lock here to allow you to adjust the tightness or the looseness of which the sling will hang on your body and when you do have the carry strap attached to the loop here you can actually use this slip pocket here to store any other gear inside the bag taking a look inside the compartments of the bag we've got two compartments here one quick access compartment and then the main compartment there opening up the quick access compartment it's a fairly large compartment you can see this front face has all this dimension for you to store gear inside inside I've just got a pair of Sunski polarized sunglasses and I've got my Oz Air face mask as well as some hand sanitizer. Very simple stash compartment for you to store any gear that you just want quick access to, reach in and grab your stuff. Next up, we have our main compartment, which allows for more pocketing to segment more of your smaller bits and pieces. So just on this side, we have a mesh compartment, big mesh compartment that I've stored my Bellroy note sleeve wallet, as well as my Orbit key. You can see there's a small little packed brand patch there on the mesh. You've got some space in the middle here if you want to store anything else in there. And then you've also got another mesh compartment here. Here I have a portable battery from from Nimble, which is actually made from recycled CDs. That's really cool, you should check them out, links in the description below. And as always, I have my Nomad Kevlar charging cable. Over on this pocket, we have a magnetized pocket. There's a little magnet at the top there, which stores my truly wireless MW08s from Master and Dynamic. And then at the top here, you can see there's a little pen slot for you to store a pen or anything similar. And then behind there, we have another magnetized pocket 
which I've stored my Bellroy travel folio. So very simple, very functional organization here, which makes it a really good travel companion, especially when you're going through the airport or even just as a little day companion when you're traveling through the city. So this is the five liter sling on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Next up, we have the Anywhere 25 liter duffel bag. This bag works really well as a shared family bag or just as an overnight weekender bag. It has a big open space to store your travel gear and plenty of organization on the exterior to organize other bits and pieces. So we have these hall handles at the top here, which is clasped together by this button snap. And as mentioned, the five liter sling can piggyback off the duffel. You just need to simply feed the hall handles through those side handles there and you can securely attach the sling bag to this duffel here. So in different situations, if you want to streamline your carry, you can attach the sling to the bag like so and just simply carry the duffel bag. So that's one mode of carry for the 25 liter duffel bag, the hall handles. We've also got an adjustable and removable shoulder strap that attaches onto these loops on the side here. I've currently got it stored inside this little pocket here. It's very similar to the carry strap that we saw on the sling bag. It's got Duraflex clips here that'll clip onto those loops. And then you can wear this over your shoulder or crossbody, and you've also got the Duraflex lad lock here to adjust the tightness or the looseness of the shoulder strap. When not in use, I simply just stow it away inside this little pocket here. This little pocket is actually a water bottle pocket that is gusseted. Hopefully you can see those two elastic stretchy gussets on the side there. That allows this pocket to expand out and also fit snug to whatever water bottles you store inside there. At the moment, I've just been fitting my A5 Memo bottle there, which is a perfect snug fit. On the other side of the bag, we have another side pocket, which is also gusseted, but it has a magnetic gusset. So hopefully you can see those magnets at play there. Inside, I've stored some everyday gear, just a face mask and also some hand sanitizer. On both sides, we have a little pass-through port here, which just allows for any dirt, debris, moisture to just pass through that little hole. On the front face of the bag, we've got a small little packed logo here, as you can see, and then a number of pockets to allow you to store additional gear. So two zippered pockets that open outwards. There's no additional organization. They're just stash pockets for you to store gear in. In one of them, I've got my Master and Dynamic MW08 earphones, and in the other one, I have my cable as well as my portable battery. Just above that, we have a slip sleeve, which is secured down by magnets again hopefully you can see those magnetic studs there this is just good for storing any other quick access items you can put an a5 workbook in there as well or you can also use this as a compartment to store the adjustable shoulder strap if we turn to the other side of the bag the back of the bag so to speak we have a luggage pass through here so if you are going traveling with rolling luggage you can actually use this low profile pass through to streamline your carry and then we have a zippered compartment here which again is also good for storing any additional gear inside. Just above that, we have that same magnetized slip sleeve pocket. So you have a bunch of different pockets to allow you just to segment different pieces of gear. Now getting into the main compartment here, we have a U-shaped compartment that opens up like a flap and then you have access to all the stuff inside the bag. So getting some stuff out of the middle, I've just packed it with a torrent shell jacket from Patagonia just in case it rains. I've got a small peak design packing cube for some weekend travel gear. And then I've also got a set of headphones from Mies Audio. So that's that main compartment area there. And as you can see on this side, there is additional pocketing for you to store smaller gears inside the main compartment. We have a zippered mesh compartment, which I've stored a Leatherman multi-tool. And I've also got an Orbit key attached to the key leash inside that mesh compartment. Over here we've got another slip pocket which I've stored a brass torch from Olight, travel folio from Bellroy and polarized sunglasses from Sunski. Now here you'll notice there's this little flap here which is secured down by these button studs at the bottom here. Hopefully you can see those button studs there. If you unclasp them you can actually create a divider inside the duffel bag itself. So on the opposite side we have a set of studs there that you simply need to snap onto and in doing so you create create a sturdy divider for you to organize your gear. So say for instance, I want to pack slightly differently. I want to use the space more intentionally. I could put my packing cube vertically like so. I could put a little fleece on this side, chuck in that shell jacket. And then on this side, I'll fit my headphones in there and also a boundary supply port kit for tech and toiletries. So it's definitely a bit more snug, but I've got a divider in there just to help me organize the space. And then I can zip that up. Time. 
Now on the other side of the compartment you can see there are these two sleeves here which are for storing devices. These are padded sleeves that will protect devices that are stored in there. So we have a smaller sleeve which can fit a 12 inch iPad or any other similar e-reader and then we have another sleeve here which can store up to a 16 inch laptop. These sleeves are slightly suspended from the ground so they will give a little bit of protection in case you drop the bag on its base and it's also secured down by this little button clasp here. Before we move on to the next bag the watch in today's video is the Sterling Original Maritimer. It has a diver aesthetic, it's got a nice silicon band. If you're interested in checking it out, check out the link in the description below. The third bag in the collection is the Anywhere 50 litre Backpack Duffel Hybrid. As its name suggests, it's a jack of all trades. It can be carried as a duffel, but also as a backpack, depending on how you prefer to carry it and also what situation you're in. It has four different carry modes. You can carry it by hand via the hall handles in the middle. You can also choose to carry it over your shoulder through the hall handle. There is the backpack carry style, which we'll get into in just a moment, but we also have a removable and adjustable shoulder strap. Slightly similar to the 25 liter duffel bag, we have an attachable shoulder strap but this shoulder strap, given that it is a much heavier load at 50 litres of volume capacity, we have some padding here for extra comfort. And just like the 25 litre duffel bag, you can piggyback the 5 litre sling through these hall handles. You just need to feed through the hall handles on those loops on the sling bag and you can have it securely attached to the duffel. Taking a look at the front face of the 50 litre, we have a little brand patch here on the side. Then we have two zippered pockets here which open outwards. On this side we have a simple stash compartment. So again, I've just stored my face mask, hand sanitizer, Nomad charging cable, and nimble portable battery. On the other side, we have a little bit of organization inside this compartment. So you can see there's a little pen slot here. There's also a little key leash for you to attach your keys to. And then we just have one zippered mesh compartment which you can further organize gear, which I've got my MW08s inside. Just two simple stash compartments here on the front for those smaller bits and pieces. If we take a look at the other side of the Anywhere 50, we have the back panel, which has this pleated padding here on the back. And then we have this zippered compartment, which is currently stowing away the shoulder straps for backpack carry. So here we have our padded and slightly contoured shoulder straps for backpack style carry. We've got a little bit of padding inside the shoulder straps here so it'll be reasonably comfortable for those heavier loads. And in the middle you can see we have a simple sternum strap from Duraflex. It's a simple buckle clasp here. And you can see in the middle of the shoulder strap, we have multiple attachment points for you to properly align the sternum strap on your body. Further below, we have simple ladder locks here for you to adjust the tightness of those shoulder straps. And then here we have simple clips for you to attach on these loops here. Now it needs to be said that this is a pre-production model. So these clips that attach onto the loops just at the bottom here might look a little bit different to the final production model. So those were the different carry modes and all the external features of the 50 liter. Now we're gonna look inside the main compartment. If if you're familiar with Pac's other products, this takes heavy design cues from the Pac One Duffel. Here we have a main zipper here which opens the bag up clamshell which gives you a kind of suitcase style view where we have dual compartments for you to organize different gear. But if you want to individually access those dual compartments, you can actually open up these zippers to get inside without having to open it up clamshell. So this centralized zipper here actually utilizes a kissing zip. You can see there's a little hole there for you to put through a lock on there just to keep that compartment tight. Although having said that, you will need to lock up these other zippers here because they also provide access inside the compartment. So let's open up this main zipper here to give us full clamshell visibility. Let's take a look at this side first. Here we have a packed brand patch here and we also have a zippered compartment here which you can use to store any magazines, any documents, things like that. You can choose to store a laptop inside here if you want but there is no padding, no protection and it's not quite suspended from the base of the bag so you can store a laptop inside here but we would recommend that you store it with a protective laptop case or protective laptop sleeve. Underneath that flap here if we just open this up we have one of the dual compartments and this is just packed with packing cubes and other travel gear. So here I have a large Peak Design packing cube and then I have a Peak Design wash pouch for all the toiletries. If we turn to the other side we have two mesh dividers here which allow us to store individually some gear inside there. So I've got a notebook inside, I've also got a torch and a multi-tool and then on this side I've got my Bellroy travel folio as well as my polarized sunglasses. Opening up this flap here 
we have another section for you to organize gear. So inside I just have an Arc'teryx Covert Cardigan Fleece. Got an Evergoods Civic Access Pouch for some tech. I've got the Patagonia Torrent Shell Jacket in case it rains. And then I've got a pair of shoes from Lens, which are a really comfortable shoe. If you want to check them out, links in the description below. Underneath all that, you can see there is more pocketing for you to store gear. So these are just more zippered compartments for you to add additional travel gear inside if you wish. So inside here, I've got a Patagonia cap and I've also got a little Matador canister for some medicine. Now, say for instance, you don't want to use these divider flaps and you just want full visibility inside this main compartment area. You can actually roll away these dividers, these flaps. And then underneath here, we have these little stretchy toggles here, which you can actually pull over and loop across the other side here to secure those flaps. Just secure that on. And now we don't have to deal with another set of zippers to get into our gear. We can actually just view our entire compartment like so. This is particularly helpful for when you actually reach your destination and you just want to set down your luggage so you have full visibility to all your gear. You don't have to keep unzipping different compartments. You can actually pack this away so that you can easily reach what you need. Now, as mentioned, you can access each of those dual compartments with these individual zippers here. So say for instance, if you're in transit and you quickly need to get some gear out, maybe you need to get something out of the toiletry bag, you can simply just open up this compartment and grab the toiletry bag or alternatively if it starts to rain and you need to grab your shell out you can quickly open that zipper grab your shell out so even though typically if you want to view all your gear you will be wanting to open the main compartment in the middle when there's times that you need to quickly grab stuff out you have that flexibility to open up this compartment and grab what you need okay last but not least we have the very simple but very useful 120 liter gear hauler. It features the same material, 500 denier RPET material, but on the base of the bag, we have a heavy duty TPU coated waterproof bottom panel. This is a bag that's typically going to be used in very rugged conditions. You're gonna store it in the back of a car or a pickup truck, or when you're at a campsite, places like that. So we have a very protective bottom panel. Now on the sides of the bag, we don't have too much going on. We've got this packed logo here, and you can see we have very heavy duty bar tack stitching for those haul handles that's gonna be carrying all the gear inside the bag. Same for on the shorter sides, we have the bar tack stitching and a rugged haul handle for when you need to be pulling this out of a car or a pickup truck, wherever you need. At the top, we have very long haul handles for when you need to pick the gear hauler out or carry it around on site. Now the gear hauler has two carry modes. Currently it's in its quick access open top gear crate. So you can just stash stuff inside and quickly move it around where you need to. But hopefully you can see there are these two loops here which allow you to pick the fabric up from the bag, open up the zipper. This is a locking zipper, just like we saw previously. So you can put a lock through there to secure all your gear inside and you can open up this zipper. Now this zipper is actually a polyurethane coated zipper. So there's extra water protection for the internals of the bag. And if you open it this way, you can actually store more gear up to 120 liters and then zip it up from the top, giving you almost 50% more space to store gear. Now inside the fabric, you can see there's these little holes here, these little rivets. This is just allows for airflow so you can quickly push it down without having to deal with too much resistance. And when you are on site, you can actually fold this over so you don't have to deal with those flaps and have easy access to all your gear. Now, as for the structure of the gear hauler, we have a soft upper half, but we have a semi-rigid lower half here. And that's what gives the bag structure when you're storing gear inside. But a really useful thing about the gear hauler is that when you're not using the gear hauler and you wanna pack it away, you can actually open up these zippers here. And this gives us access to the structure of the bag. So here we have these little hard shell dividers here, these structure panels that give the bag structure and form. So you can actually take those out, put them inside and then fold the bag down to conserve space. This bag is really useful for those camping adventures, those outdoor adventures where you're storing those typically hard to pack items. So this would be your sleeping bag, your camping mat, your tent, foldable chairs, camping cookware, sports equipment, or perhaps even if you're going to the crag, you're storing your ropes, any other camping equipment, climbing equipment, anything like that. You can just store them inside this big 120 liter gear hauler. Well, everyone, there you have it. The new packed Anywhere collection 
four unique pieces with a simple and utilitarian aesthetic that will ensure that you can be agile and flexible for any adventure. If you're interested in checking out this collection, there is a link in the description below and also a QR code on the screen that you can scan with your phone camera. Using those affiliate links really do help support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And as always, if you want to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to the Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. But we'd love to hear from you. What did you like about this collection? What didn't you like about this collection? Have we missed anything? We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you'd like to see more videos on travel gear, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the new Packed Anywhere collection. Take care, and we'll see you next time.